Mike, I guess the ultimate question, especially after the first few days of Oshkosh, is what's new with the weather? So, great question. We've had a bit of that here today. So, a bunch of the flyers coming out here. We just released a new version of Flight Star 9.5, and one of the great new features of that is our updated weather. So, what we've done is taken the old Flight Star, which is a great flight planning tool, and we've added the ability to download live Jepson weather during the process. So, the weather always updates in the background. The person doing the planning can actually see how that weather is going to affect them during their entire route of flight process. We've also updated the interface a little bit so that we now have the ability to file a flight plan right from the top screen, look at all the weather, and get your updated weather while the person's doing the flight planning process. You're not leaving me much to do, Guy. <laughs> That's the idea, making it as easy as possible. Well, show me how it's done. Sure. We'll do a sample flight plan here. Go up here, we'll do our chart wizard. So we'll pick an aircraft today. Today we're gonna to fly in a Bonanza. We're gonna go from Oshkosh and we're gonna end up in Rapid City, South Dakota today. So we're gonna do an IFR flight plan. We're gonna fly GPS direct. We can select our altitude. Today we'll start at 12,000 feet. And we're gonna get winds from our Jepson weather area to download through this process so we can see how that affects our route of flight. So we can also determine if we want to avoid certain areas of airspace, FIR boundaries, et cetera. So the computer now has planned a great circle route for us. We highlight that route and we can see currently where the weather is in relation to our route. So we notice today flying through South Dakota, we may have some storms we're going to have to deal with. We can also go back in time through our route of flight as I move our little cursor along here, we've added a new time slider feature so we can actually see as we move that time out where the aircraft is in relation to the actual weather. Very nice feature. Jepson also has a relationship so that we can predict next rad six hours into the future. That's one of something we have not many other companies have. Beyond the six hour period, we start looking at numerical model of where precipitation is going to be. So for example, in our route of flight here, we can see our aircraft at this point in the flight it's flown through this interesting weather. If we go back in time a little bit to where we're kind of through there, we can actually see where the weather is, and I can just take this route of flight, move it up a little bit. We've now replanned around that weather to the north. So from the pilot standpoint, we've now made it hopefully a much safer flight for him to go through there. We also have some additional features of adding icing and turbulence information along that route of flight. So as I click these things on here, you'll see that pop up. In our profile view down below, you can actually see where that weather could impact you vertically as well, so that you can make a decision to either fly above or below that phenomenon. Once we're all done, we got a route that we think we're pretty happy with there. We can now, right on top of the Flight Star there, hit the File button. That brings up our FAA Flight Plan tab. We can make modifications to that if we want. When we're happy with that, we simply hit the OK button. That's filed through Duots now. You're ready to go fly. Boy, it doesn't get much easier than that. You know, and hopefully we've made our foray into, as you've seen earlier today with the iPad and our terminal charts, the idea is going to be to add more functionality to that. So we think one of the next things we're going to add there is things like weather, the ability to see in route and possibly route a flight on the iPad while you're in the aircraft. We know we're a little late to the game, but we hope we can take the experience we've done with that and really move forward into the entire mobile computing area. So what's the availability on this? So it's available today by downloading. Current customers who have FlightStar can simply update through the program, through the internet. They can get that update. If you have version 9.0 or higher, it's free of charge. And the weather is now free of charge as well. For whatever region you subscribe to, you get that weather information free of charge and it updates for you. There's a lot of stuff out there today, so we want to make sure we add the best value to our customers. Where does it go from here? So we think the weather is a big enhancement, but where we really want to take this is, like you said, kind of more into the mobile computing platform. So the iPad would be a logical place to go to make this so that you not only plan it on the ground, but you have it with you when you go up into the cockpit. You can do that with a laptop today, but sometimes those are a little cumbersome. So the tablet market, the iPad market, and who knows where different technologies are going to be in the future, but we want to make sure we keep up with that.
freedom through performance. At Cirrus, performance is not simply the measurement of a single design parameter. Rather, it's a total package. It's optimum balance of speed, efficiency, comfort, safety, ease of flight, and quality. We call it Cirrus Flying 2.0. Aren't you ready to feel the freedom?